First news is your local election headquarters, and today is the Pennsylvania primary. Our reporter Hannah Erdman is live at the polls in Sharpsville with everything you need to know before heading out. Hannah, good morning. Good morning. Poll workers have just arrived in the last few minutes to start getting ready for Pennsylvania's primary election day. Today, there are no local issues here in Mercer County, but voters will be deciding who they want to run in their respective parties, either Republican or Democrat, for the November election. Yesterday, I spoke with the executive director of elections, Thad Hall, and he says this, this, these races are going to be pretty close this year. I do expect um, that there will be some very close races, especially among the, um, you know, in the lieutenant governor's race, where there are a lot of people running, but they, none of them have a lot of name recognition. And so we could end up doing a recount. Hall says about 4,500 people have already voted by mail. In the 2018 primary election, there was a 45% turnout for both parties here in Mercer County. He expects the Republican turnout to be a little higher this year because there are a lot of competitive races in the Republican Party. The polls are open today from 7 until 8 tonight. Anyone in line at 8 will be able to cast a ballot. If you have not returned your mail-in voting ballot by today, you must drop it off to the county elections office in Mercer. Your local precinct will not accept it. And again, this is a closed primary, so you must have already declared a party affiliation earlier this month. You can contact the elections office if you don't exactly know where you're supposed to vote today. Also on WKBN.com, you can find a complete list of candidates that you'll be able to vote for. Live in Sharpsville, Hannah Erdman, First News This Morning. And remember, First News is your local election headquarters. We will be tracking all of the results as they come in tonight. You can count on us for that coverage throughout the day right here on air, but also on our WKBN mobile app.